So in this tutorial we're going to look at solving linear equations. Those are ones without squares or anything nasty in them, just an x perhaps. And we're going to use a little mnemonic, that's something you remember things by, um, which says Groff Groblet find answer. Now you may have seen this in the rearranging formulae tutorial because essentially rearranging formulae and solving equations are the same thing. What does Groff Groblet find answer stand for? Well, very straightforwardly, get rid of fractions, get rid of brackets, lump everything together, which is putting all the terms with x on one side and all the terms without x on the other. Factorise if necessary. Now that shouldn't be necessary in linear equations, which is why it's in brackets, but it's there for completeness. And then d for divide, and that should give us the answer. So let's apply that to a couple of equations. Okay, there are other ways of solving equations, but this should work well. So the first thing we notice about this equation in question one is that there are some brackets. So we get rid of the brackets. How do we do that? Well, it's a one bracket with something outside it. So if you've seen the tutorial on this, you'll know that I always link the thing outside to the terms inside. So the two gets linked with the x and then with the four. And then we just do the multiplications. So two times x is two x and two times four that's the bottom link there, is 8. And then we look at the terms, we examine the terms if you like, or we lump everything together, we see one term with x in it, and then another term on the same side without an x, and a term without an x on the other side. So in order to lump everything together, we subtract the 8 from both sides, because that puts everything with an x on the left-hand side, and everything without an x on the right-hand side. So I get left with 2x, equals 11 minus 8, which is 3. Where did the 8 on the left-hand side go? Well, 8 minus 8 is 0, so it disappeared. And now I need to get the x on its own, which I do by dividing. So I divide by 2 to get the x on its own, and that has the effect of, well, the 2's on the left cancel. And my answer is x equals, well, 3 over 2, or 1.5 if you'd rather, but 3 over 2 will do. Okay, let's have a look at a slightly more complicated one, where I've got two lots of x and this nasty algebraic fraction. Well, don't worry about it, because Groff Groblet will do what we need it to do. Get rid of fractions, always multiplying by the bottom. Well, the bottom of the fraction is x plus 6, so let's multiply by it. Of course, we have to multiply on both sides, otherwise it's not fair. And the point of doing that is that the fraction disappears. So that x plus 6 cancels top and bottom. What does that leave us with? That leaves us with 7x minus 3 is equal to 2 times x plus 6. And again, we've just got a single bracket to multiply out. So get rid of brackets should be quite straightforward. 2 times the x and 2 times the 6. I've put the links in to remind me what I'm doing. So I've still got the 7x minus 3 on the left, and then top link, 2 times x is 2x, bottom link, 2 times 6 is 12. Now, I've got to examine the terms, or lump everything together. I prefer lumping everything together. I've got two terms with x in them, so I want both of those on the left-hand side, and I've got two terms without x in them, so I want both of those on the right-hand side. Let's see what we're going to do to the x's first. So to get rid of the one from the right, I'm going to subtract it. Subtract 2x from the right, I must subtract 2x from the left. And because I'm feeling particularly clever, I'm going to deal with the numbers as well at the same time. I don't want that minus 3 on the left, so I need to add 3 to both sides. And if I, So if I add 3 to the left, I must add 3 to the right. And now I just go along and deal with this bit by bit. 7x minus 2x is 5x. The minus 3 and the plus 3 cancel out, that was the point of doing that. The 2x and the minus 2x also cancel out, that was the point of doing that. And then I've just got plus 12 and plus 3, which gives me 15. And you probably barely need to do the next step, 
but we should just do it. So we divide very formally. Here we go, divide both sides by 5 because that's what's next to the x. And the 5's on the left cancel, and I get left with an answer. My answer is x equals 15 over 5. Well, 15 over 5 is 3. And Groff Groblet has indeed found the answer. You can do most linear equations, in fact all linear equations, using Groff Groblet find answer. And you can rearrange formulae using it too. So it's a really good way of doing things.